Hi, this is Doug White at AnyCon. So we're here in Albany, New York, and we're talking to all kinds of people, and we've been up here pitching our product, having a good time. I have Alex with me, who is from UMass Amherst, right? That's, that is correct. Wow. And uh, we were, we, Alex wanted to talk about like what millennials need to know a little bit about to get involved in cybersecurity and like what some of the limitations are on people trying to move into the field, right? Yeah. So, so, so. What, what is your take on that? Well, the first thing is is that you know it's very hard for millennials nowadays to get into the field of cybersecurity, right? And it's kind of interesting because you know, especially at AnyCon here, there's been a lot of talks about the fact there's you know one million unfilled positions in cybersecurity, right. and so it's quite interesting to think about you know how do you fill those positions and what's the next generation is it going to look like? And so one thing I want to talk about is you know the curriculum at the universities and what kind of stuff they teach. Okay. Um, well, you know, I mean, we certainly, uh, my, my sort of general philosophy of that, and it's, it's really your interview, not mine, but my sort of general philosophy of that is, is that we have to talk to the industry and find out what the industry needs and make sure those things are getting taught in the class. Uh, and I prefer that those things get taught in the class by practitioners. Yeah, no, I absolutely agree with you. And I think overall also raising the general awareness of this issue okay. and this problem is extremely important. And it's an exciting field. I mean, you've been in the field right. for a long time now. and like, Long I'm just, time. I'm, I'm just getting into it. And there's a lot of potential here. And there's a lot of exciting work. And I do strongly believe that for millennials, this is a great opportunity to show themselves, right? Okay, yeah. And so I feel like that universities should definitely spend more attention. Well, so so it, it, you as a millennial, say, say I'm another millennial, which is a, is a stretch. But um, well, I want to get in the field. What should I do? What do you think I should do? Well, that's the thing. That's the real question here. And I think that any con or B-sides, anything like that, definitely helps with that. But, you know, it's still kind of still a bit of out of reach. So it's whether it's the location, whether it's the price, time, you know, students do, especially computer scientists, we do have a lot of stuff going on, right? Yeah. And so like between the homeworks and classes, it's actually hard to go for a two day conference. And so I feel like in my personal experience, we actually had a lot of great practitioners and vendors coming out to the university and just giving talks on the subject. Okay, I, I mean, I think that's a good idea. I do, I do think coming to conferences like this is a good idea because meeting other people and being able to talk to people is a way that you, you can get out there and find out what people are looking for. Like there's job descriptions on some of these tables down through here of different kinds yeah. of things. And just seeing that may help you, like if you're picking courses at school in a computer science program, or to say, well, I really ought to learn Python because I keep hearing people talk about it, you know, or I was at a conference and so-and-so was talking about Python, I went to a session or, or whatever. But Absolutely, I also would even go as further as networking itself, just talking to people and, you know, asking what people do. Don't be afraid of talking to people here. So I met you guys here yeah. and it's been extremely useful conversations. And overall, just coming up to someone after they talk and being like, hey, like, tell me more about this effort. Right. Tell me what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. I think that really broadens the horizons. Of right. I mean, I mean, like I mean that's grads. like I, I always tell students, you know, watch podcasts and things. Learn, learn who the players are. You know, because that way, when you come to these things, you go, oh, look, there's Paul, there's Doug, there's there's Larry, there's whoever these people are. You know who they are, and you can walk up to those people and say, hi. You know, I watch your show, and I know who you are, and I have a chance to talk to you. Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I think that's also a great segue because Security Weekly, great podcast, and you know, in 2017 it's extremely easy to actually get a lot of free material and free knowledge right. online, and especially in the field of computer science. It's just, you have to look for it. But I also feel like the awareness is a big factor in it. So a lot of kids in computer science don't really know much about it because we don't talk about it, right? Because hacking is viewed as something bad, right? And there's been a lot of talk about like whether you should teach students offensive techniques or not, whether you should mention cybersecurity a lot, or like should it be somebody else's responsibility? And I do strongly believe that, you know, higher education, university specifically, I think the responsibility is on them to just explore the topic and show the possibility. Because again, as I said before, it's the field is huge, right? And there is a lot of great work here that has to be done. And yeah. I mean, we, you guys talked on the show a lot of the times. There's been a lot of talk how. You know, being on the defense side is extremely hard, right? No, and there's a lot of challenges for 
younger generation to solve. Okay. And after all, this is the world we live in. Like, this is the world we're going to be living in for the next 10 right. years. And this is our technology. This is, like, you know, we have to take responsibility in securing it. I, I agree. So, if, if there is one skill you think, you think that people should bring to the table, like that if you, it, it doesn't matter whether you have it or not. So, if there's one skill for cyber that you, you would tell people to bring to the table, what would it be? Well, if I was going to pick two, I would say curiosity and persistence. But I would go with one that would be curiosity, for okay. sure. You have to you have to be curious. You have to always look for the new things. You, you know, you always have to kind of like push yourself forward. Okay. This is the field where there is no clear path, and you have to kind of make that path for yourself. Okay. And so I, I would say I like that's it. definitely. Okay. Then one fun question. All right. So you get one fun question. Uh, Star Wars or Star Trek? Star Wars. Okay, so okay, so my Star Wars question. I then, think Paul Paul actually gonna definitely <laughs> give me a hard time for that one. Well, that's okay. I have a I have a follow up question then. So did did Han shoot first? Of course, of course. <laughs> there, you, there is no other way. Of course, he shot first. I, I I love it when people come back with that answer because I completely agree. Because I'm like just just based on the character, I'm like. Like, I can completely identify with this character. I would have shot the guy even sooner. Well, that's why Han's character is so great, is that you don't even question that, right? No, I know, it's because I would have shot the guy character. when he sat down. I wouldn't have waited through all his drama. I would have shot him right away, or, or a machete. <laughs> you know, I really have this, I mean, like, it would have been so much more dramatic instead of shooting him under the table if Han had had, like, a big, like, four-foot-long machete and went, <clears throat> and I was like, now fly your ship with no hands. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Alex, right, for coming you. to AnyCon and, and spending a little bit of time with us. All right. Great time. Thank you, guys.